Hey, what's up everyone? Vegetarian Zombie here. Welcome back to Ark! Look at this, I'm cold! What do you know? I'm cold and I'm hungry and I'm on Ark. Hey guys, welcome back to episode 3. When we last left off, we had this nice beginnings of a little base here. And we're gonna continue to build this up. It's just gonna be a simple little hut. If I open up my inventory here, go to craftables. What we wanna do is start building some walls and we're gonna need some thatch. One way to get some thatch is to get our pickaxe and start picking, not our nose, but some trees. We're gonna pick some trees noses. Do trees have noses? Does noses have trees? Ah, who cares, let's get to work. Any case, guys, I've been learning a lot about this game. I've been doing live streams and you guys have been great. Um, you guys have been just been teaching me the, the ways of the the ways of the world. And one thing I have been learning is that this dying and losing all your stuff. I'm too encumbered. Oh my god. All right, let's let's fix this up. Can we make a wall yet? No, I can't. I need to. I ultimately need to craft a chest so I can put all this garbage in there. All right, what stuff don't we need? So we have a lot of wood right now, and actually, what we should do is get a fire going. And we can use this fire as our temporary holding spot for our... Here, let's pick up this rock. Give me this rock. Can I pick up this rock? Okay, but we're going to use a fire. Actually, let's see if we can we can craft the camp campfire now. It's been a while since I built this or played this. So I'm not too sure exactly what I have and, and have not. But we'll head back there. And uh, we, like I said, we'll use the fire as a chest. All right, we're going to craft ourselves a campfire. Easily done. Just like that. Awesome. Let's throw this on our let's throw this on our hop bar and place it. There we go. And now we're just going to access our inventory. Oh wait a minute. We're gonna access our inventory. And what I'm gonna do here is I haven't done this before. I'm gonna put all my charcoal in the fire. Can I do that? No? Where'd my charcoal go? Can we do this here? Can't put you in there. What I can do is at least take all my wood and throw it in there. Where are you, man? Speak to me. Speak to me, Goose. Here's my wood. I'm just going to throw that in there. And hopefully that will ease up our encumbrance. Yeah, so we're walking a little bit better now. Okay, so we need fiber. What we got to do is get some, uh, pick some bushes. Let's do that now. So I've been learning a lot about this game, and uh, one thing I'm not used to is the death and losing everything. That's kind of uh, definitely, I like it because you don't have to do corpse runs, but at the same time, losing all your stuff in this game can be a little bit debilitating, and I'm learning that the hard way. If you watch any of the live streams, you will see I die a lot in this game, uh, far too much than I, than I planned. And... What I think I need to do is start carrying only items I need versus items like I'm carrying all my inventory. And what happens is I'm dying and I lose everything and I have to restart, basically reset up everything. And that is a pain. So the thing is, I'm going to prioritize getting a chest and basically store everything in a chest and only take stuff I need. And I'm also going to create a, a surplus of things because basically every time I restart, I need to create shirts, I need to create pants, all that stuff. And I can't do that. If I'm, if I'm dying and just hunting animals, I'm, I'm wasting my time. So I'll need to create like basically a stockpile of hide and things like that. Essentially try to stockpile all the non-perishables that I can. That's the plan if you know what I'm saying. Spoiled meat, yum. Uh, can we drop this? I don't need spoiled meat. Yeah, I'll just throw it on the floor. No one will mind. I got no ladies. Look at this, it's nice and packaged. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so we just need wood. We'll go back to our fire, get the wood here. And we'll throw this in our inventory. Look at this, I'm encumbered. And we're gonna craft some walls. All right, I got six walls now, and we're gonna build this wall here. Whoops, come on, blaze it. Put that one there, and we'll put this one here. Awesome, and now we're gonna make this a twofer, so we're gonna put that there, that there. Look at that, guys. 
What a what a wall! <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so we need to build four walls here. We're gonna need another six, so that's another 10 walls, and we're gonna build four walls here. So we need 14 walls total. That means we got more stuff to collect. Not a big deal. Now look at this guy here. I was just over over near him. And uh, let's check out, look at this, a level one. Yeah. I'm very tempted to go after him. And let's check our food. Our food's getting kind of low. So um, let's do a little hunting right now and get some, get some meat. And you know something? Let's chop down some, let's chop down some uh, trees so we can get a little wood and get some camp going too. We can use the hide to ultimately make some more clothes and hopefully level up soon. Oh my God, this guy is encumbered so easily. Come on, you wuss. You can carry it. And we got some food here. Uh, maybe I should just eat this raw meat. I got so much crap here. That's the problem. I got no place to put it. All right, I got this. I got the wood in the campfire. We'll just keep moving. What is this? Oh, I don't think I can eat that. Now, if you guys have any tips and tricks, definitely let me know. Again, I am very much an arc noob, but I'm liking the game so far. But I gotta say, the problem I'm having with it is that I'm stuck in the early game. I have yet to see the middle game, or even get, or even imagine what the end game's like. Basically, I've been running around on beaches getting eaten by dinosaurs. I think another problem I have with the game, or I shouldn't say it's a problem with the game, but a problem that I have with the game. Wait, that's coming out wrong. A problem that I'm having, not a problem with the game, but a problem that I'm having is oftentimes I get ambushed. I'll be like hunting on the coast and then a big bug will ambush me. Or if I'm not too careful, I'll be ambushed inside the water by a mega piranha. What is this? I gotta say the crapping. Oh, I don't know what to say about the crapping. Okay, so what is that over there? Okay, this is a guy we can kill. Let's chop this guy up for dinner. I should check what level he was. All right, I'm getting attacked by a couple. What? What? <laughs> Did I mention? kind of stupid about these things. Alright. Here comes, uh... Here comes the hard part. That was, like, a really stupid way... A stupid place to die. At least I don't have to worry about eating. Oh, dying in this game is painful. It's painful enough for you to die and lose all your stuff. But it's also painful, like... Well, I should say it's painful when you die and you lose your stuff and you have to do a corpse run, but it's painful when you lose everything. Good news is at least we'll level up and we'll get those chests going so we don't have to do this crazy running back and forth or trying to... Oh, God. I'm tired. I'm so tired. I've gone ahead and increased the gamma so that you can see what's going on. Game does run a little dark, unfortunately. All right, guys, we got some more walls to put up. <laughs> My guy literally keeps crapping every five minutes. <laughs> you know, do not go to the restaurant that I went to before I started playing this game. All right, we need more. And on top of that, we're cold. All right, guys, we're leveling up. Places. <laughs> Probably into a dinosaur's stomach, but that's okay. <laughs> I've seen enough dinosaur stomachs to last me a lifetime, and I don't mind seeing any more. All right, so let's come here. Let's uh, level up our food, shall we? And as I mentioned, what I'm well, we have that. Uh, we're putting a high priority on the storage boxes, so let's learn that. And let's see, what else? What else do we need? We got some, we got a wooden, we should get a wooden club. Yeah, let's do that. This spear, this spear is like completely easily melee weapon that can also be thrown, has a chance to break when used. All right, excellent for knocking out. So let's do that. I'm tired of my spears always breaking on me. They're, they're quite lame, shall I say. 
All right, I got a bunch of stuff now. Although my hunger is getting kind of low, but I also have a bunch of berries too. Let's, let's eat these berries now. Just to, doesn't do much, but it's better than nothing. We're gonna eat these amber berries. I don't even know what these do, but we're gonna eat them. Let's see, am I getting a stamina boost or what? God, I can't imagine living on berries. Okay, so we got a bunch more. A bunch more walls I made, so let's throw this one here. And, uh, throw this one here. And that one there. Look at that, guys. It's slowly coming together. And also, now that we have our chest, I believe I have the components to make a chest. Let's do this. One thing we need to also get is a sleeping bag. We're gonna need hide. Thankfully, we have 19. But... I think we're gonna need some more than that. I think we need to, I shouldn't say more than that. I think we're gonna need to kill a lot more animals. All right, we got our, where's our chest? We got our storage box is what it's called. Let's throw this bad boy right over here. Come on, drop it, drop it. There we go. Now one thing I'm gonna do is drop my metal. I've been lugging this stuff around. And we got charcoal, we don't need to carry this stuff and stones that stuff and uh, i'm gonna keep carrying the wood but like specimen implant i don't know what that does survival quotient to be determined let's drop that dino glasses skin what is this crap all right dino like the hide stuff that's really important so we don't want to lose that when we die hunter hat skin let's get rid of this stuff and i can see i don't have a lot from my inventory so we just want to be careful Oh, we gotta put on some pants. I've been running out without pants this entire time. Guys, sorry about that. <laughs> you know, I just like to run free. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got a snake. We got a snake! Run! Is it a friendly snake? I don't think that was a friendly snake. What is he doing? He's attacking my house! Just get his attention. Leave my house alone! No, I didn't want your attention! Hey, 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 hey! Throw the spear! Ooh, I'm hitting him! And he keeps coming! Oh, guys, I have a feeling I'm gonna be snake dropping soon. Woo! I killed him! <laughs> oh man, you messed with the wrong dino dropper. Oh, look at all that hide. That's what I'm talking about. Wow! Let it rain! Let it rain! Prime meat, guys! <laughs> Whew! I gotta tell you. Sometimes you ride the snake, other times it rides you. But this time we rode it! All right, I'm gonna get some thatch, add some more walls, and then we're just gonna, I think we should have a, a snake piece. All right, we are back. Look at this. He was damaging my wall. I don't know why he was going after my base. What a jerky snake. Okay, one thing we wanna build here is a sleeping bag. So we're gonna need to access our hide stores. Let's access this bad boy here, and uh, let's throw that. Look at this. All right, let's come back to our craftables. Craftables. And let's build our sitting bag. And while that's in progress, I think we can start adding up some more wall pieces here. Just like that. Whew. Guys, we are making progress. So we're not exactly done. We still have a little more to do. We have to do a roof. We have to add in our doors. And uh, yeah, And but before we do any of that, the next thing we're gonna do is just place down our sleeping bag right here. Now, what kind of stinks about the sleeping bag is that once you die, oh, come on, just place the sleeping bag. What are you doing? Can't place sleeping bag out of placement range? 
What are you talking about, game? Oh, there we go. I don't know what that was about. But what do you know? We got the basics of our house. All right, everyone. Well, I think that's a good place to end this episode. In the next episode, we'll keep on building on the house. Again, this is just our humble beginnings. But later, you know, we're going to be branching out. And one of these days, we'll even explore the forest and maybe, just maybe, be eaten by a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hopefully. I have big dreams, ladies and gentlemen. All right, everyone. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. See you then.